And we're back with the Curse of Monkey Island! As those of you who watched the last video know, we have accidentally turned Elaine to gold. It's Elaine. I've got to change her back somehow. I wonder what she tastes like. Elaine? Uh. Honey? You okay? Can I get you anything? I'll just start lifting that pirate curse then, huh? She must weigh a ton. Uh, no offense. Exactly. Hey, I wonder how many carrots she... No, no, bad idea. Yeah, I mean... Oh, look, a broken bridge. The bridge is uncrossable. That's just as well. There's nothing interesting in the fort anyway. Aw. Feral it chicken. looks dangerous. It's an informative plaque put up by the Plunder Island Naturalist Society. Plunder Island Feral Chicken. One of Plunder Island's most common fauna and the animal for which our capital of Puerto Pollo is named. Nah. Yo. I wonder if that's the same chicken from the intro. I don't think so. Mm, no. Anyway. I'm sure I'll need that chicken. Ooh, this looks like a great place to find a cure for... Oh, hey, it's Murray. Oh, it's just you again. Just your most terrifying image of evil revisited! You're yeah, right. I bring you warning from the infernal realms! Do not go farther into the swamp! Turn back! Turn back! Darkness will envelop you! <laughs> he kind of reminds me of those talking stone heads from Labyrinth. Go no further, or the path you will take will lead to certain destruction! <laughs> Do you know anything about lifting curses? Oh right, I know a lot about lifting curses. That's why I'm a disembodied talking skull, sitting on top of a spike, in the middle of a swamp! You seem bitter. I'm sorry, it's been a rough day. How'd you get all the way up there? Through sheer force of will! Uh-huh. Alright, there was a bunch of those weird voodoo kids. They found me on shore and put me on top of this spike all the time, thinking they were so funny. Do you need me to help you down? Help! I need no help from you foolish mortals! I am Murray, the all-powerful demonic skull! Okay, just thought I'd ask. Don't get me wrong, I do appreciate the offer. What are you doing up there? I am standing as a testament. Standing? <laughs> hanging as a testament to the power of the forces of evil that will one day claim victory over the entire Earth! How long are you going to keep doing that? As long as it takes. Must get pretty dull up there, I suppose. Never! The powers of darkness are never dull. We will one day prove that... Oh, who am I trying to fool? I'm bored out of my skull. Figuratively speaking, of course. Let's get him a book or something later. You seem restless. Oh, I don't know. It's just that not many people come through this swamp. What would you rather be doing? I need to be out among the lesser people, terrifying them and causing pain and misery! That would make you happy? Yes, happy in a dark demonic way. I'd love to stay and chat, but uh, I gotta go. See if we can put those balloons on. Oh, nope, 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 don't walk away, Guybrush. I don't think he'd like that. Aww. It's my pal from LeChuck Ship. <laughs> yeah, this place looks like a great way to find a cure for voodoo curses. Or get more Ooh, voodoo looks curses. Looks like it was thrown here by a typhoon. Mm, no. Let's figure out controls. Oh, ah.
It's a big stuffed alligator with an unusually long tongue. It's the alligator's tongue, and it's still moist. Let's give it a yank. Who are you, and how did you just appear like that? I am one gifted with a second sight, adept at manipulating the forces of nature for the benefit of all who enter my door. You're a fashion consultant. Well, yes, but that's not what I was referring to. I am a voodoo priestess. Neat. You're an autumn, by the way. Don't I know you from somewhere? We have known each other for a very long time, Guybrush Threepwood. You've been through much, so it is understandable that you have forgotten me. We met on Melee Island when you were first trying to become a pirate. Hang on a second. Are we gonna do one of those flashback things? They always make me nauseous. No, I'll make this quick. I twice helped you defeat the evil pirate LeChuck, first by preparing the voodoo antiroute. I'm starting to remember. And then again by helping you prepare a voodoo doll of his zombie form. That's right! You've helped so much, and I still don't know your name. I am known by many names on many different islands. But names have little importance. You should know this more than anyone, Guybrush Threepwood. Yes, you're right. Hey, are you making fun of me? I wouldn't dream of it. In a kind of passive-aggressive way, anyway. Boy, have I got some stories to tell you. Stories? Yes, well, I'm sensing a great disturbance. I have to go. But I've got to tell you about LeChuck and Elaine. I'm going to disappear now in a big flash of light. Cover your eyes. No, 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 wait. It started back on Dinky Island. I knew LeChuck was close. I'll be disappearing here any moment. Okay, okay, no stories. Nice place. I love what you've done with it. Thank you. You'll have to excuse the mess. The kids came over to play with their paper voodoo dolls. They're adorable children. Would you like to see some pictures? <laughs> uh, I don't know which one would be more amusing. Perhaps Aww. later. Yes, there's no time for that now. I sense that something terrible has happened. Hey, you're good. Something terrible has happened. I finally proposed to Elaine. Congratulations. That doesn't sound so ter- And when I placed the engagement ring on her hand, she was placed under a horrible pirate curse and trapped for eternity as a solid gold statue. Oh, that explains it. I was struck with a wave of overwhelming hatred and anger. Yeah, that LeChuck was a pretty mean guy. I was talking about Elaine. No, there's no time to worry about that now. We have to hurry. Do not panic, Guybrush. She will be safe until we can break the curse. You only have to worry about her being stolen. Where did you hide her? Uh, I just remembered something. I've got to go. You did remember to hide the giant solid gold statue of your girlfriend from all the other pirates on the island. Well, not exactly, but, uh, you know, I... Go, Guybrush, hurry, before you're too late. Yep. Elaine! <laughs> I've got to get her back. This is so embarrassing. Looks like I'm gonna need some more help. There's a sign. I'll have to go back and check that out. Someone's stolen Elaine! That is unfortunate. It will be difficult to get her back. Do you know who kidnapped her? Not for certain, but I suspect that it's the mangy pirates anchored in Danger Cove. Can you give me something to lift the curse? No. LeChuck's curse is a very powerful one. Fueled by his anger and his intense frustration in dealing with the opposite sex. I have nothing here to lift so powerful a curse, but there is one way. Great! Tell me! 
you have to replace the cursed ring with a pure one of greater or equal value. A good guideline is two months' salary. <laughs> Where am I going to find a huge uncursed diamond ring? Legends speak of a whopping big diamond ring on Blood Island. Blood Island? I've never heard of it. You will soon become quite familiar with it. But you must be careful, Guybrush. I have foreseen that your journey will be filled with peril and deception. I have also seen that Blood Island will be the place where you will die. Die? D did you say die? As in me, dead. Don't be such a baby. Isn't there a less dangerous way? No. The value of the ring on Blood Island comes from its emotional significance. It represents a pure, true love, a power greater than any other. Oh, that's sweet. I... I think I have something in my eye. Do not mock the voodoo priestess. Uh, mocking voodoo priestesses is fun. You just have to push them just to the point where they're about to do something horrible, but then stop. Blood Island sounds dangerous. You have to come with me. No, I cannot. I have lived on three different islands in the past six years. I do not wish to travel anymore. Besides, this derelict is still an escrow. But who will explain away gaping plot holes? You've got to come. You're my only hope. No, Guybrush. There is another. Well, how will I find the ring on Blood Island? All I can say is that I see a long and painful history connected with that ring. And I feel a great sadness associated with it. You will learn more once you have actually found the island. How do I get to Blood Island? You will need three things. A map to Blood Island, for the journey is a long and dangerous one. A seaworthy ship to take you there. And an experienced crew. Map, ship, and crew. Got it. Blood Island, here I come! Well, a lot more stuff there. I finally defeated LeChuck and his skeleton pirates. True evil can never be destroyed completely. But I heard him blow up and everything. You'd be surprised at how much abuse an evil undead zombie pirate can take. I finally found Big Whoop and was enormously disappointed. Big Whoop is pure evil. You were lucky to escape alive. I can't remember much about it. Just that I was expecting so much more and felt so let down. Yes, it is the source of much of LeChuck's power. I'm never going back there again. I have foreseen otherwise. You will return to Big Whoop and confront LeChuck once again. Yeah, I've seen the treasure of Big Whoop. Big Whoop. Well, how can I finally destroy him for good? No one knows. His power seems to grow with every incarnation. You may have dealt with him for now, but this respite can only be temporary at best. What makes you think LeChuck will be back? Some men can search their entire lives and never discover their reason for being. The Chuck has found his. To perpetually rise from the dead and torment you and Elaine. It's what he does best. Gee, when you put it that way, it's kind of hard to stay mad at him. Yeah, I mean, he might have to go into politics if he didn't have us around. I want to know what voodoo spell you're working on. Voodoo spell? Oh, this. This is just a fondue I'm making for tonight. Would you like to try it? Does it have any skink toes in it? A few. I'll pass. I want to know more about safe hair replacement systems. I can imagine. Didn't you have a beard the last time I saw you? I sure did. A really cool one. I wonder what happened to it. <laughs> I want to know more about a diet I can live with. 
I'll share with you knowledge passed from mother to daughter in my family for generations. What's that? Low fat, high fiber. It works. She is right, really. I want to know more about variable rate mortgages. Bad idea. Though attractive to the first time homeowner, the rate reacts wildly to fluctuations in the market and can work against the buyer over time. You're best off starting with a 20% down payment and a variable rate mortgage, then refinancing at a fixed rate after one or two years as the market warrants. Could you repeat that? No. <laughs> Gotta love her. I want to know more about a career in TV and VCR repair. So you want to make more money? Sure, we all do. Stick to pirate. Quetzalcoatl. Yeah, I want to know more about the Aztec god, Quetzalcoatl. Yeah. Really sweet guy. Not at all as bloodthirsty as they make him out to be. Shorter than you might think. He's probably got one of those awesome hats like they had in the Land of the Dead, though. What island is this, anyway? You have landed on Plunder Island. Plunder Island. Sounds appropriately piratey. Naturally. It's a sort of retirement community for ex-pirates and their spouses. Hmm, sounds exciting. Lately, there has been all too much excitement on the island. All centering around Governor Marley, the Chuck, and a giant chicken. El Pollo Grande! Probably. That just shows up everywhere. Elaine is governor of this island, too? Actually, Elaine is the governor of the entire Tri-Island area, comprised of Mele, Booty, and Plunder Islands. She moved to her fort here on Plunder after the kitchen and landscaping staff quit her Booty Island mansion. Well, how did you end up on Plunder Island? I realized that my location in the swamp on Scab Island wasn't ideally situated. So you moved to a swamp on a different island? I just said I could see the future. I never claimed to be an expert in real estate. <laughs> what about this giant chicken business? Ah yes, Skybrush. You have landed on an island gripped by the cold, clammy hand of fear. Don't you think you're being a bit overdramatic? This was a peaceful island until the great beast landed on our shores. Some say it was sent to make the islanders pay for their cruelty. Others claim it was simply blind fate. Whatever the impetus, it came. <laughs> the infamous bear pig of Plunder Island. No, even more hideous. It was El Pollo Diablo. The giant demon chicken. Tall as a man, and twice as powerful, his massive drumsticks propel him through the dark jungle with ease. No one has seen the beast, but on the eve of the full moon, his blood-curdling squawk can be heard from every corner of this wretched island. In the dark of night, he roosts patiently. Watching, waiting for the one day. No, 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 wait. Don't tell me. Let me guess. <laughs> He's hatching a diabolical scheme. He roams the island, exacting terrible vengeance on those who would capture and eat his smaller brethren. Oh, give me a break. There were once others like you, skeptical to the true nature of the beast. But they're all dead now, pecked into a bloody pulp by his savage beak. But I'm sure you have nothing to worry about. Yeah, right, whatever. Thanks, I've heard all I needed to know. Thanks for your help, gotta go. And now to loot her place. Sure, children's toys will be useful. I don't want those dull little scissors. Aw. I don't need it. It's just a toy. 
Ooh, a pin is a separate item. What a relief! <laughs> How cute! A paper voodoo doll. I wonder if we can stick that pin back in. I'm sure it won't do anything. After all, it's just a paper voodoo doll. Oh! The pain! <laughs> that pin get to? Oh, we still have it, huh? Does it take wooden nickels? Admiral Sweetum's Bit O Jerky Bubblegum. Five cents! Wow, I got a whole pack of gum! Awesome! Bit o jerky. This gum feels warm. <laughs> <laughs> See anything else of interest in here? Doesn't look like it. I wonder if Murray would like some gum to chew while he's up there. Hey, he would. Cool. I think he wants to be alone right now. He needs a hat. He really does need a hat. I forget if he ever gets one, but I know he could use one. Here we can go besides the swamp, beach, and foot of beach, and... Ooh, a question mark place. That's not the town means we're avoiding progress! We're making progress. I forget where we're supposed to go. Then I forget most everything about this game, so... He's a member of the bustling Plunder Island workforce. Mmm, no. Aww. Yes, may I help you? My name is Guybrush Threepwood, and I'm a mighty pirate. Threepwood? You must be seersucker Skip Rackham's cousin. How are Muffy and the twins? Uh, who? Hey, it's a lovely afternoon for the beach today. Not too crowded yet. There's a crafts workshop on the south beach, and a swapper size glass at two and four. Water's warm and the waves aren't too high. Just watch out for the occasional undead corpse washing up on shore. Might want to keep the kids away from any rotting flesh. But otherwise, the siege early today shouldn't spoil your afternoon. Just between you and me, the undead are notoriously bad tippers. So it's just as well they didn't take over the island, eh? <laughs> Let me see your membership card and we'll fix you right up. Ooh, <laughs> wonder if this will work. You don't need to see my identification. I don't need to see your identification. I'm not the pirate you're looking for. You're not the pirate I'm looking for. I can go about my business. You can go about your business. Move along. Move along. Move... Hey, wait a minute! Your mind games won't work on me, boy! You went a bit no too membership far, card, I see. Well, sir, you're at the Brimstone Beach Country Club in Smorgy. Part of the Leisure Lovers Planned Community for Retired Pirates. It's very exclusive. I'm afraid if you don't have a membership card, you cannot use any of the club's amenities. I don't want an amenity. I had to eat one of those while I was lost at sea and it was terrible. Oh. Then let me also point out that without that membership card, you are not permitted on the beach, you cannot use any of our towels, and you can't have anything from the grill. Good day. Well, he's snarky. It's full of dirty dishes. Mmm, no. 
Let's try to take the towels, even though we can't. Those towels are for members only. May I please have some of your oil? That oil is solely for the use of the fry station technician. Ah. He's going to be no fun, is he? But at least now we know we need a membership card. Or a fake membership card, or... I don't know. The Barbary Coast. Oh, it's a Welcome, barber Pete, shop. to the Barbary Coast. Where every haircut is an adventure. Hey, and if you're wanting a haircut, you'll have to wait until I'm finished with Captain Rottingham here. Are you guys pirate barbers? We prefer the term buccaneer hairstylists. Great! Maybe you guys can help me find this huge diamond ring I'm looking for. Diamond ring? Yeah, it's supposedly enormous, and it's on Blood Island. Blood Island? Never heard of it. It's a funny story, really. I need it to lift this curse that's turned my girlfriend into a solid gold statue. Solid gold? Wait a second, did I just share too much? <laughs> he sounds oddly like Scrooge McDuck, I'm not sure why. I mean, I know it's the accent, but... Paperweight. Don't touch that, you foul creature! Or this ape may ruin my haircut! Ooh, jar of combs. Hands off those combs! Those are ours! He was too fast for me. Combi, combi, combi. Ah! Uh. Uh. Hands off that comb, or I'll have your bangs, you thieving dog! Ah. Uh. Wonder if we can paste the comb. The label on the bottle says, Paste will not adhere to dental work, hair, or cannonballs. Darn. Ah. Uh. I think he'd notice. <laughs> I can't paste that. I can't paste that. I can't use the skeleton arm with that. <laughs> I may not actually have a solution here, I'm just... That comb looks like it's made from a jawbone. And this gum is the kind that won't stick to dental work. Aww. Get to babbling at people. Ahoy there! I'm Guybrush Threepwood, Mighty Pirate. So? So, it's good to meet you, Mr... Bill. Bill? That's your pirate name? Bill? Cutthroat Bill. Oh, I see. Well, that puts a whole new spin on it, doesn't it? Are you ever going back to pirating? Maybe. Someday. If I find the right captain. Perfect! I'll be your captain. Onward to Blood Island and high adventure. Wanna come? You a captain? Hardly. But he's been one before. I defeated the Swordmaster of Melee Island. And what do you have to show for it? I've got a ton of cool stories. Treasure? Immense mounds of gold and diamonds? Solid gold scepters of power? Anything? Well, I've got these nickels. Wooden? Uh, yeah. Some treasure hunter you are. You couldn't find gold in a jewelry shop. Aw. I bet I could find gold on this very island. How much would you bet? Well, I've got these nickels. <laughs> right. Come back when you have some real treasure to show me. How'd you break into the hairstyling industry? I saw an ad to join a barbershop quartet. Got a problem with that? No, that must be very rewarding work. What's that supposed to mean? Mean? Just that, you know, cutting hair and um, singing must be just a lot of fun. It's like a party every day. Some days I just don't know how to contain my joy. 
I get giddy, and the laughter bubbles out of me like a sparkling fountain of mirth and gaiety. Okay, new topic. Yeah. Pirate stories. Got any? Okay, here's a story. I started out as a crewman on the raging tightwad, sailing out of Puerto Pollo. The captain was a master treasure hunter, a diviner from some ancient secret society. He had some weird fifth sense when it came to finding objects of value. Don't you mean sixth sense? No. By some cruel trick of nature, he was born without taste buds. But his other senses took over and gave him an uncanny ability to find treasure. We left port without a map guided only by the captain's keen senses. We spent the first week going around in circles, until we realized the crew's gold earrings were throwing the captain <laughs> off. After we tossed all our jewelry, gold coins, and belt buckles overboard, we got back on course. Did you ever find any treasure? We sailed for two years, and had finally started back to Plunder Island. But just as we started to doubt him, he paid off. We found sunken treasure right off the coast. Wait a second. Was it an enormous pile of jewelry and gold coins and belt buckles at the bottom of the bay? Exactly. How did you know that? I just had a feeling. <laughs> Say, uh, what you eating there? Jawbreaker. Is it good? Yep. You don't say much, do you? Nope. It's been a pleasure. Bye. Wonder if he wants some gum. I don't want that. I'm a vegetarian. <laughs> yeah, let's get talking with this guy out of the way. Ahoy there! I'm Guybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate. Of course you are! Okay then, who are you? Edward Van Helgen! Not the! That's right, mine is the name that pirates fear the most. Edward Snugglecakes Van Helg. Ooh. How'd you like to join my ever-growing pirate crew? Your crew? Why would I want to be on your crew? It's gonna be a blast. We're going to Blood Island. Sorry, Threepwood. As much as I'd love to be out at sea again, I could never serve a captain who wasn't a gentleman and who wasn't my equal. Gentlemen, that's me all over. Then prove it. If you can defeat me in a gentleman's duel, I'll join your crew. All right, let's get to dueling. No, no, no. There are rules. If you want to duel with me, you have to give me sufficient insults. Mm, okay. <laughs> hey, that's a nice shirt. How long have you been colorblind? Oh, please. <laughs> Nice cologne you're wearing. Did you actually roll around in dung or just dab a little behind each ear? <laughs> That's not the type of insult I had in mind. Did I mention you're a big old bedwetting duty head? No, but I'm still not impressed. Aw. How appropriate. You fight like a cow. That's an old one. Come back when you have some fresher material, eh? I don't want to insult you. Why can't we just get along? You went from pirating to hairstyling. Why? The music of the sea is something that takes hold of your soul and never lets go. But the life of a sailor is a rough one, and the sea shows no mercy. It was no easy choice to leave, but I realized that I could still enjoy the music of the sea while remaining safely on land. By hanging out at the docks and singing to passing sailors? No, believe me, that doesn't work. By starting a barbershop quartet, obviously. Obviously, but there are only three of you. Auditions didn't go as well as we'd hoped. We once had a tenor named Dominique, but he left. Artistic differences. Hm. I could be the fourth in your barbershop quartet. Hm. Uh, no, no, uh, that's okay. I was wrong. We don't need one after all. Oh, come on, I've really got away with a ballad. All right, then. Let's hear what you've got. Hmm.
Plunder, plunder, how I wonder how do you get so doggone pretty? Home to sailors, barbers, tailors, and Puerto Pollo, your capital city. Oh, my dear, sweet, merciful savior in heaven. Pretty good, huh? You must take an oath now, before man and God, that you will never, ever again sing in public. <laughs> so, what are you telling me exactly? Let me try out for your barbershop quartet again. No! <laughs> oh, please, please! The spirit of music is in me! All right, but this is the last time. <laughs> I'm hooked on you, baby! But the seas keep us apart. And there ain't no eye patch big enough to cover up my broken heart. Great sainted jumping monkeys! What do you think, huh? That was even more atonal than last time! <laughs> hey, let me try out another song for your barbershop quartet. Am I just not getting through to you, Threepwood? Come on, this time will be great. Trust me. If you insist. Once my old man spoke to good King Triton and asked, Why all this senseless fighting? Why can't we men express emotion? Now I've got a friend in the... Mother of all that we as humans hold sacred. Well, <laughs> you're actually beginning to make me physically ill. Please, stop. Guy Brush makes me look I can care like I can carry a tune. Listen to me sing again. You'll love it this time. I really, really, really don't want to. No, believe me, I'm just getting warmed up. Oh, there's a monkey in my pocket and he's stealing all my change. His stare is blank and glassy. I suspect that he's deranged. Words. I need more words. My grasp of the language is not sufficient to describe the violent, retching nausea your singing is causing me to experience! I I'm not following you. Is that a good thing? I think I, I know where this is going. For you. It's a showstop. Okay. Whatever. For those cold dark shipboard nights, we've got boxers, briefs, and tights. Made from cotton, silk, or satin, in styles Anglo, Dutch, and Latin. When you sail, don't take a chance, wearing nothing neat your pants. Trust, silver's long johns. They breathe. That's odd. What? What? You liked it? No, 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 it was dreadful. It's just that my queasiness has subsided. But now I'm beginning to taste metal and see spots before my eyes. I'm afraid that your singing is so bad. It has caused me to have a stroke. <laughs> I bet you have a ton of cool pirate stories. No, I couldn't. Well, come on, I'd really like to hear some of... The year was 1675. We were on a course towards the wreck of the rattling phlegm. Our days were filled with songs of the voyage and the untold riches we'd find at our destination. Two months into our journey, we realized... Something was horribly wrong. Yeah, I was kind of hoping that the horrific singing would insult him to the point we'd get to duel him, but, yeah, well. Had your ship been placed under some kind of pirate curse? Not as such, but we were cursed all the same. We were all stricken with a melody. A diabolical song that I shall never forget. La 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 Hey, that's kind of catchy. Aye, all too catchy for a crew of 50 men confined to a ship hundreds of miles from port. No one could think of anything else, and many threw themselves into the sea rather than hear any more of the incessant humming. We returned with but eight of our crew left. The doomed voyage of the Obsessivo Compulsivo <laughs> will haunt me forever. Was that the main theme of Monkey Island? Are you sure you don't want to join my crew? I told you, not unless you give me sufficient insult and beat me in a duo. Whoa, look at the time. Gotta scoot. As Guybrush said, look at the time. We've been at this about 40 minutes, so... 
I'm gonna stop it for now and I'll catch you again tomorrow. More possibly later tonight, because I do need to keep pushing.